Hey, good afternoon. It's Doug from Vermont Hoyas, and welcome to a tour of my tall Hoya um, growing tent or my Hoya TARDIS growing chamber. Um, sort of reminds me of the phone booth in Doctor Who, uh, the TARDIS, where they traveled through time. So um, <clears throat> let's talk about this little thing. Uh, I built it up on a platform, as you can see, for three reasons. Uh, one, um, I didn't want to take a chance of moisture coming through the tent and um, harming the hardwood floors down below. So I built a, a platform up about probably 16 or 18 inches in the air and I put a pond liner in that. So there's no possible way any water will ever find its way from this tent down into the wood down below. Uh, the second reason is it puts it up at a better height to be able to work on the plants. Um, you can see right there. And the third reason is there's a little bit of storage room underneath, which you will see there is a dog bed and a cat who has found a very nice home. He spends most of his days under there for some strange reason. So <laughs> that's the outside of the tent. And when I come back, I will show you the inside of the tent. Okay, I'm back with the inside of this tent. I had to turn off the LED light because you literally couldn't see anything in here. Everything looked um, red. So um, there is the light up there, just a single um, LED grow light. Uh, it's a 600 watt light, which actually only draws about 300 watts. And that was under $200. The tent itself was around 70. So I've got um, probably somewhere around $300 in this setup, which isn't too bad. If any of you have the room to be able to put something like this into your house, into a corner somewhere, you can get some unbelievable results. You can also see I have a, a fan down in the bottom that blows straight up, helping to circulate the warm air from the light all the way around the plants. Um, these uh, Hoya Imperialis that you see to the front here, that are growing up to be about four, four to five feet tall. I only started from a tiny cutting in March, so they're only about seven months old. So you can see the results that you can get when you grow them, grow Hoya Imperialis under these intense conditions. The Hoya Imperialis in the back is uh, Hoya Imperialis Palawan, the yellow flowered variety, which is going to flower for me after only 19 months so that is like something i'm very very excited about so this tent um was well worth the money uh here's another i also snuck in a um, hanging plant here which has flowered for me after three years hoya soy daoensis which i brought you into a video of earlier so it's quite happy in here and in the back, the tallest plant of all is Hoya obtusifolia. And I am hoping that this thing is going to flower for me because you can see that it's actually up higher than the light now. I've got to get this thing flowered so I can chop it up because it is um, it's driving me nuts. It's just taking over everything and hasn't produced any results, but it's starting to bud up. So we'll see. Fingers crossed that uh, something becomes of those buds. So that's it. I thank you for taking the time and visiting with myself and my wonderful TARDIS growing chamber. And just it might give some of you thoughts for what you can do for yourself if you want to grow Hoya Imperialis in, in record time. I'll be back really soon with more great Hoyas and more growing tips. Thanks again for watching.